like it's slippery. You gotta get them off. I'm just saying. Oh, no, okay, I know, I know. It is crazy hot here today in Florida. I am sweating. Look at, the, look at my sweat. <laughs> I'm dying. It is warm, but we have a really cool project lined up. We have the largest, the biggest, the most humongous, you guys get the idea, VCT job we have ever done. We usually do uh, smaller VCT jobs, lunchrooms, stuff like that. You guys have seen our stripping and waxing uh, stuff on the channel, but this one's a little bit different. It's an entire uh, building. We have about 17,000 square feet of VCT to do in this location. It's gonna be definitely, uh, I don't know how many days. I don't know how many days this is gonna take us, honestly, at least, I don't know, four, maybe. But I'll bring you guys along. It's gonna be really interesting to see. Not all of it's like crazy trash or anything. Uh, some of it definitely needs it. Some of it isn't so bad. But we'll see uh, where this video leads. I'm not really sure since it's gonna be over the course of multiple days and in fact, technically weeks. So we're gonna start it off today. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so this is just one of many halls here that we have to do. Um, it doesn't look all too bad, but there's definitely some scratches and scuffs and everything else. And this floor has uh, never been fully stripped and waxed. It's been down for about five to six years, so it's definitely due for it. Um, the camera makes it look a little bit better than it actually is, especially over there by the main door area, but. Mm -hmm. A few moments later. We're getting there. Make a pretty good progress here. I don't think Bill's arms are gonna fall off quite yet. Maybe not. All right, so they're working down there. I gotta go mix up more stripper, which unfortunately the sink is like 300 feet away, but as we get closer, it'll be better. So we are trying to do half of this first floor down here today, which is about four or 5,000 square foot. Um, we have this hallway all the way down here and then upstairs, there's uh, a lot more halls to go, but we got a pretty good system down. So I think uh, once we get it all stripped and waxed, it'll, it's gonna look really nice. Over here, you can see it a little bit more. It's got a lot of uh, scratches and stuff in it. Just, uh, yeah, just needs a good strip and wax and that's all. Nope. Yeah. The most important part of doing this is not to bust your butt while you're laying it down. Oh, okay, which is almost dead. Off camera, unfortunately. Slip sliding away. But we can't afford broken hips. Don't play any games. Don't we don't have workman's comp, so don't fall. I already did, <laughs> at least three times. <laughs> So our method here is pretty much lay the stuff down, let it sit for 10 minutes, and uh, start going at it. We use black pads on the machines, and it's actually coming out pretty nice. Oh yeah. Stripping and waxing. This is what you call production right now, guys. Production. Doing pretty good. I don't know how many thousand square feet we're doing per hour here. Obviously we still have to wax it, but we're doing pretty dang good. Wasn't sure how much we were going to get done in a day, so this would be a good test for the rest of this project, which uh, we assumed would take five days, but if we could get it done in four, that'd be nice, right?
All right, making pretty good progress here. So Becky's sucking that up. Now, with this size of a project, using a shop back is not <laughs> what uh, I would recommend if you do these kind of things all the time. We don't, you really need a machine to do that. It would go faster, but we really don't do projects of this size with BCT hardly ever. Uh, this is pretty much the only one. So we're just using the shop back for now. It's working pretty good, but our production could be a little bit better if we had an actual machine to suck it up instead of, well, Becky in a, in a shop back. But it's doing the trick and it works perfectly fine. Uh, we normally do smaller BCT projects and it works just fine for that. All right, you gotta get the mop. Why do I have to act like it's slippery? You gotta get the mop. I didn't say oh, that was, okay, that was, that was a joke. <laughs> There's a lot of wax around the blue section. Yeah. You almost Purple busted your butt. Thing. And I, I have to run the machine on this. Yeah, that's <laughs> fun stuff. No We're getting there. Six hours later. A long day. Days. Plural. Yep. This takes some serious skill. You don't realize how slippery that floor really is. When you're holding on to that machine, really got to be careful. Got a lot of pressure on me here. <laughs> to not have three falls. Let's get some close-up action without face planting. The section seems to be a whole lot thicker than everywhere else. Pretty good. Becky's like sucking her up now. So we got the uh, first coat just applied to this section and we are working kind of down there. We still have all of this to do and that. So I think we should finish this first floor today. All right, so now that we have this whole hallway stripped, the only thing left to do is mop. So uh, this floor has been mopped kind of once, but so we're gonna mop this floor again, and then we're going to do it again uh, with a neutral floor cleaner. So I have a lot of mopping to do, probably do it in the next 20 minutes or so. Lucky for you guys, you only have to endure like um, 10 seconds of it. Day two. guys really quick update popping over on day two we're working on all of these side little halls upstairs kind of going here so this is our fourth room of the night uh, we got uh, who is that down there? hold on let me zoom in oh it's hey, Becky everybody? she's uh, laying the stripper down 
We'll let that soak. Uh, this is hall, like I said, the fourth hallway, I think. And uh, all right, in this hallway here, we got fans going. We got Sue down there doing a rinse on this one. So um, we're kind of working our way down the line. That hallway number one here. We got Bill laying a uh, first coat of finish on this one. So that's kind of what's going on here on day two. Uh, I think that's going to be about the only clip I film because it's kind of repetitive, kind of boring, but I figured it'd be a small update. We'll probably catch up with you guys on day three. Day three. Just making my way. And it is day number three. Three. Yep. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow, I did not know you put that you down here. Oh my god, I literally almost just dropped the phone. Wow. Oh gosh, that camera? first step is it. a doozy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's day three. Day three. Wow, that was scary. <laughs> With the gloves and everything. Are you in surgery or yes. are you doing, doing floor refinishing? Where's my scraper? So we are pretty much uh, almost done doing the little hauls. We're rinsing them. And then we got this one really long haul here that we're working on. Got the uh, stuff soaking. And uh, yeah, so pretty repetitive stuff. So that's why I haven't filmed too much on day two and day three. Besides these little snippets. But we'll see how it goes. If there's anything interesting, I'm sure you'll see it. She wants to be on video. Am I on video? You're on video. Oh, cool. <laughs> get on video. What do you have to say? I don't know. I never get on video. I get on video more often than I know what to say. Come on, cameraman. Come on. They want to see this. Oh. <laughs> they want to see the cold, hard reality. Go show. Oh, okay. Here I am. <laughs> cold, hard reality. All right. The viewers want to see this. Not that. Day four. Last day, a laying stripper. Oh, can't wait. Just when I'm having fun. Just when we're in the rhythm. Yeah, yeah I'm in the rhythm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah clearly not. <laughs> and it's Friday night. And it's Friday, yep. Yes. What about so, when it's Friday night? All oh. we got. This is the way out. See, it's pretty beat here in the last home stretch. I uh, gotta go down there, and then we'll be good. So keep in mind, we just did this two days ago. Look at that. Who did that? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. This is the end of the haul that we did yesterday. Check that out. Looks really nice. I'd be lying to you a little bit if I didn't say I wasn't a little bit sick of VCT, but it's been a long four days. Later. So like I showed you guys earlier, this part of the entryway here got messed up two days after we just refinished this. So what sets us apart from a lot of, also I'm gonna say 99% of other companies is that. Instead of just leaving this because somebody else scratched it, it wasn't our fault at all. Um, we wanna leave with a really good product. So I'm actually going to redo this part of the floor and remove these scratches for them, even though it wasn't our fault at all. And uh, that's the kind of stuff that will separate you from other companies because a lot of people wouldn't do that, correct? Correct. 
Correct. Correct. So, let's fix this. Jeez. All right, well, last day. Not, we're not done yet. Almost, I mean, you're, you're, yeah, we're not done yet. He's wrapping up the machine. <laughs> I think you're done. Well, this machine's done, but them machines aren't. Whatever. Anything else to say? It's Friday. 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 It's Friday. 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 Don't worry, we might have to be back tomorrow. And we'll be done with this on Saturday. Yay. Yay. Well, everybody, it has been a long week of night work. Quite the project we knocked out here. Uh, everything turned out really good. We're all really tired. My legs are about to fall off. So, uh, but we uh, managed to get really efficient with this job, which helped, especially the last, the first day or two was pretty rough just because we were getting to know the building and everything else. After that it went pretty smooth, but we had a pretty good system going on, which is really important when you're doing big projects like this is to be organized because if you're not organized, they're going to take way longer than you anticipate. So uh, about, I don't know how many of these halls we did, a million of these halls, a couple of really long halls, the downstairs, the upstairs, all is done. And I think we're gonna wrap the video up here. Hope you guys enjoyed this little mini series. I know uh, in the middle days, um, I didn't film all too much. They're just finishing up down there. I didn't film all too much because it's kind of really repetitive and boring. Once you've kind of seen us do a little bit here, it's kind of the same thing over and over. So uh, we still have to lay finish on this, but after we do, we're gonna be in really good shape.